In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. A statement of the Catholic Diocese of Adigrat on the current war impact situation in Tigray. The people of Tigray struggled to ensure respect to their rights. And instead, in the name of enforcement of law and order, as if Tigray and Tigrayans were foreign people and country, the response of the government has been waging a very destructive war of ethnic cleansing, depriving Tigray of its budget, closure, closure of everything, access of, to humanitarian food aid from getting any basic services, such as medicine, electricity, telephone, internet, air and land transportation, and so on. The people are made to suffer from epidemics, chronic and new diseases, and also, as we find in the book of Prophet Isaiah, chapter 51, 19, like the ancient people of Jerusalem, the people of Tigray are condemned to be cleansed by desolation, bullets, and famine. Like all the Tigrayans, the Catholic Church in Tigray, which is highly affected by this genocidal war waged on us by the local and invited foreign armies, with physical, psychological, and spiritual attacks on our laity, on our priests, on our religious sisters and structures, such as worship houses, parish residences, schools, health centers, and development installations, and offices, as well as looting of properties like vehicles, 14 vehicles of the Catholic Diocese, desks, ICT and solar installations, lab equipment, medicines, and so on. To the effect, the Catholic Church in Tigray, as per its mission entrusted to her by its founder, Jesus Christ, and the principles of our social Catholic teachings steadfastly has stood against the atrocities made on the people of Tigray and has been repeatedly voicing to the authorities, partner organizations in the country and abroad about what's happening through this genocidal war going on on the people. And instead of making efforts for peaceful solution, what is still going on and happening now in the recent days and weeks is even more fueling the ongoing war destructions on Tigray to worsen as indicated below. One, the commission which was meant to investigate the war crimes and genocide has come up with a report which does neither represent the reality on the ground, neither the con on the contrary to the just and noble principles of the commission itself, has not visited the localities where the genocidal war crimes and massacres have happened that we know without identifying and meeting the surviving victims. It didn't seem to mention even the war crime and genocide by name. The proven fact which not only the victims and the government of Tigray, but the issues which have been witnessed, investigated and brought to the attention of the world 
by various independent organizations and world media. Therefore, the report of the Ethiopian Human Rights Commission and the UN Higher Commission of Human Rights is one which is incomplete, therefore does not reveal justice and truth about the incredible atrocities which have widely happened. Two, we call that the air bombardments which have destroyed already lives, properties, civilians and institutions stop. Three, we strongly condemn the detention of the head of the Catholic religious congregation, the Salesians of Don Bosco in Addis Ababa, together with the community members and staff of their offices, and all Tigrayans in Addis Ababa and in the whole of Ethiopia. Therefore, we call that all the atrocities and crimes be investigated by an international independent body anew. The bombardments of civilians and ethnic cleansing detentions of Tigrayans and the church members stops immediately. We strongly call upon the Ethiopian Catholic Church found in Addis Ababa and in the rest of the regions to come up out, to come out, out of its silence with a voice for justice against the ongoing ethnic directed genocidal war and has per its divine commission to act as a mother and shepherd of all peoples and especially to stand against the persecution and atrocities being inflicted upon the Tigrayan members, priests, sisters, laity, serving the faithful and society in the church in your respective ecclesiastical jurisdictions. We remain expressing our sympathy to all people suffering in any part of Ethiopia, in the whole country, and we are sure of our spiritual closeness as a Catholic Church in Tigray. May our Lord of Peace bless all direly in need of peace.